Hey everyone, and welcome back. So we're going to talk about some important questions that I ask myself before I even start using colors or even like searching for colors. So there are two pretty big questions and there are a couple questions in between and there are a couple questions that actually make up those two bigger questions. So let's jump right in. The first thing I want to do is I want to understand the type of problem we're trying to solve. I want to know, do I understand this product? What type of problem is the product trying to solve? What does it want to communicate? If we had like a session where we were mapping these things earlier in like a kickoff and using our stakeholders kind of research to really understand what the big business problem was, these types of things could really help influence your color palette choice. You know, remember when we briefly talked about brand personality? You know, this applies here too. Understanding what the brand is trying to say helps us pick colors. And understanding the problem the product is trying to solve is integral. Some colors are better suited or associated with different types of products. You know, maybe blues with fintech. Nothing is set in stone. And it's good to understand the landscape when approaching a color palette. So just keep that in mind when you're starting to create your own color palette. The next thing is we want to understand who our users are. Do I understand the users well? Who are the users we are targeting? What region do they belong to? You know, that's a huge thing. What is their culture like? Colors are instrumental in how we perceive the world, and that couldn't be more true within the interfaces. Colors guide us to predict, understand, and make decisions. Think about what colors mean to you. So I want you to take a second and just think about this while I'm going through it. Ever since you were a child, you've been trained to pause at words colored in red. You know, think about like error text or if you see a negative balance in your account or a stop sign or a red light or a bad mark on your essay and you relax at maybe numbers in green or text in green. You naturally want to read text in black before you do text in gray. You want to click on things that are blue. It's embedded into how we experience products that we never give it really any extra thought. Now let's go one step further. And certain colors have a different connotation when it comes to things like culture. Think about who you're designing for, even age and gender. The psychology of color is incredibly interesting, but it's a massive topic. These are the two main questions I always ask myself before I even get started. And you should too. 